Hello friends, welcome to Two Psalm Tuesdays. Today we're reading in the ESV from Psalm 80 and Psalm 81. And as you can see, I still have my Christmas candles up and I'm reading inside today because it's too chilly. You may hear my dog barking a little bit or actually chewing on his bone, not barking. Rocky doesn't bark. So hopefully that's not too distracting. Psalm 80 and Psalm 81 in the ESV. To the choir master, according to Lilies, a testimony of Asaph, a psalm. Give ear, O shepherd, shepherd of Israel, you who led Joseph like a flock. You who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us an object of contention for our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts, let your face shine that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea and its shoots to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that all who pass along the way pluck its fruit? The boar from the forest rages it, ravages it, and all that move in the field feed on it. Turn again, O God of hosts, and look down from heaven and see, have regard for this vine the stock that your right hand planted, and for the son whom you made strong for yourself. They have burned it with fire. They have cut it down. May they perish at the rebuke of your face. But let your hand be on the man of your right hand, the son of, of man whom you have made strong for yourself. Then we shall not turn back from you. Give us life and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Psalm 81, uh, to the choir master, according to the Griffith of Asaph. Sing aloud to God our strength. Shout for joy to God of Jacob. Raise a song, sound the tambourine, the sweet lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on our feast day. For it is a statute for Israel, a rule of the God of Jacob. He made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt. I hear language I had not known. I relieved your brother, I relieved your shoulder of the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, while I admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me, there shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts, to follow their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe toward him and their fate would last forever. But he would feed you with the finest of the wheat and with honey from the rock, I would satisfy you. Two Psalm Tuesday, Psalm 80 and 81 in the ESV. 